So Bob Rinsky finally responds to the guy asking her for money because he got her face tattooed on his body and this body portion was infected. Welcome to the new episode of Unsim Sisi. I go by the name Pai Mukama Jima Kunya. Charlie, if you love me and you get my name or my face tattooed on your body and this body portion gets infected, don't, don't come and blame me. Don't come and blame me because at the end of the day, I didn't ask you for anything. You just wanted to show me some deep love or some, some of your deepest love you have for me. There is this guy trending on social media. I think I've already talked about it. He decided to get Bob Whiskey's face tattooed on his body because he fucks with her, he loves her, he would even marry her. Okay, after he did the tattoo, I think the portion where the tattoo was done got infected and this infection went through his whole body so he started acting weird and did a video asking Bob Whiskey for money. The video he did ask, asking Bob Whiskey for money went around and I think she said an eye on it too so after she set an eye on the video of the guy asking her for money just because he tattooed her face on his body bob whiskey responded saying he didn't force him to go do that tattoo on his body like to, to go and do a tattoo of her face on his body and she has already given this guy money before like she didn't buy him a, a phone or an iphone but she had she has already given him money to do a couple of things before so what does he really want from her? That's sweet. I never asked anybody to tattoo my name on their body. Do you understand? I never forced anybody to tattoo their name, my name, or my picture, or my face, or my body on their body. So I feel like people did that a whole... People did that last year. A whole lot of people did that last year to Cloud Chase to get money from me. Because they noticed that I was giving some people one million naira and an iPhone. So a lot were doing it. They were taking, they were probably drawing my picture, my name on their body. And at the end of the day, but this particular guy that, that is on Insta blog. So this guy, when he did his own, of course... I got a notification, probably was tagging me, like tagging me, tagging me, tagging me until I got to see him and I invited him. I gave him some money. I did not buy him a phone, but I gave him some money and I told him to just manage the money I gave him. So probably the guy was expecting me to give him the same one millionaire and iPhone, the same way I gave some other people. He did not get it. So the following, I think following months, I guess, he started insulting me, started saying so many things to me, calling me fake, calling me, he was insulting me. In fact, this guy insulted me for more than four months. But you know what? I just choose to ignore him. I did not answer him because obviously, probably his plan did not work. You know, I gave him like 500,000 or... I can't remember how much I gave him because it's been last year, but probably he was expecting me to give him one millionaire and buy him a new phone. Maybe that's why, you know, he did not get all that. And after like a few months, the one I even gave him, this guy never called me to thank me. Even the one I gave him, you know, and he was insulting me, saying so many things. He kept every day. This guy is always talking about me. Every day he's always talking about me. He's always, but you know me now. I feel like he wants to trend. He wants to fame. So I ignored him completely. So tonight I was shocked. I just saw so many because I've been sleeping since morning. If you ever think of showing an artist you fuck with love, there are a couple of things you can do without getting your life in danger or without getting getting your, your body in danger. Count these tattooing artists on my body out because at the end of the day, maybe you could end like the guy who did some for Bob Whiskey because it doesn't make sense to me. After you have done it, you, you're now asking them for money. Like, bro, you for no see some of these artists in Africa, they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. Maybe in somewhere in America, like the, these American artists 
or a rapper, they could help you out. But an African showing love to an African is like going to the beach and searching for a needle. You would never find one because you, you tattooed your body to show her love. Now she's talking, to, she's saying she didn't force you. I hope this will be a lesson to everybody because this, this time around, you are living in a world and no pure love. You gotta think about yourself, your future and your health. Don't give every, none of these things up just because you love an artist, you love a rapper or a singer you are not even related with. Are you dumb? I go by the name Parimukha. I'm out.